हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर फिट एंड फाइन एट योर प्लेसेस एंड एंजॉइंग योर स्टडीज टू आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू टू पिक्चर्स टूडे दीज आर द पिक्चर्स ऑफ प्लानट अर्थ एंड ऑन द प्लानट अर्थ यू कैन सी सम ट्रीज बर्ड्स एनिमल्स फ्लावर्स वॉट इज बींग सिग्निफाइड बाय प्लांट्स ट्रीज बर्ड्स फ्लावर्स ऑल दीज थिंग्स all these things are depicting life on the earth it shows that planet earth has life you know students the earth is the only planet in the universe that has life what is the reason why there is life on the earth because of the presence of atmosphere what is atmosphere atmosphere is the blanket of gases around the earth you know this blanket of gases this blanket of air that protects the earth from the harmful rays of the sun it also controls the temperature and most important of all it contains oxygen which is essential for every form of life why is atmosphere present on the earth there is a reason that is because of the presence of gravitational pull on the earth so with this we are going to start the new chapter that is composition and structure of the atmosphere this is the third chapter in your geography book students let us start with the composition of the atmosphere it means what is the atmosphere made up of The atmosphere is a colorless and orderless layer of gases that surrounds the earth. We have just discussed this. Nearly 99% of the atmosphere consists of nitrogen and oxygen, in which 78% is nitrogen and 21% is oxygen, and 1% is other gases. And there are argon, carbon dioxide. water vapor ozone helium methane krypton xenon other gases are also there so students here i want to mention the atmosphere is thicker and heavier near the surface of the earth and it becomes less dense with an increase in height above the sea level because the gravitational pull of the earth holds the air in place around the earth the atmosphere therefore exerts pressure on the surface of the earth because of its weight while discussing composition of the atmosphere we have discussed that there is presence of nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide water vapor so we need to understand what is the importance of all these gases present in the atmosphere so let us discuss the importance of atmospheric gases in detail first of all we are going to discuss about nitrogen nitrogen is present in all living organisms and helps in the growth of living beings second gas we are going to discuss that is oxygen it is colorless and tasteless gas and is the second most prevalent gas in the atmosphere that is 21% living beings breathe it to live oxygen in the form of ozone that is o3 is present in the earth's atmosphere and helps to protect the earth from ultraviolet radiation from the sun next gas is carbon dioxide carbon dioxide exists in the earth's atmosphere as a colorless and odorless gas it is produced by all animals fungi and microorganisms during respiration and is used by plants during photosynthesis you know carbon dioxide helps in creating the greenhouse effect also without the greenhouse effect it would be too cold for life to exist on the planet now last we will talk about the water vapors present in the atmosphere water vapor is constantly generated by evaporation and removed from the atmosphere by condensation 
atmospheric water vapor falls on the earth as rain which is very important for our agriculture and is also a source of fresh water when we talk about the structure of the atmosphere we find that there are five distinct layers those are troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and exosphere let us discuss about all these layers of the atmosphere in detail first layer of the atmosphere is troposphere this is the lowest layer of the atmosphere the word troposphere comes from the greek word tropane which means to turn change or mix the troposphere is the lowest layer of the atmosphere and also the most important it protects us from the heat of the sun during the day and keeps the earth warm at night this is the densest layer of the atmosphere and its thickness varies from 8 km over the poles to 18 km over the equator in this layer temperature decreases with height as the atmosphere becomes thinner as we go up the rate at which the temperature drops is 1 degree celsius per 165 meters this is called the lapse rate all weather phenomena such as clouds rain storms etc are occurring in this layer the boundary between the troposphere and the stratosphere is called the tropopause the next layer is the stratosphere this layer of atmosphere lies just above the troposphere but below the mesosphere this is the second major layer of the earth's atmosphere the temperature is constant in the lower part but increases in the upper part it is about 0 degrees celsius at 50 km this increase in temperature is because of the absorption of the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays by the ozone gas that is present in this layer the stratosphere is almost without clouds because of the extremely low temperatures in the tropopause the stratosphere is characterized by an increase in the ozone gas with maximum ozone concentration at about 30 km the stratosphere is also called the ozonosphere because of this presence of ozone layer this ozone layer protects us from the sun's ultraviolet rays the stratopause the upper part of this layer separates it from the mesosphere the third layer of the atmosphere is mesosphere this layer extends from the top of the stratosphere up to the height of 80 km above the earth here the temperature decreases with height till it reaches minus 100 degrees celsius at the end of the mesosphere the temperature decreases because the air is much thinner and there is little amount of ozone which helps in heating the stratosphere this layer has the lowest temperature in the atmosphere most meteors from space burn up in this layer the mesopause the upper part of this layer separates it from the thermosphere the layer above the mesosphere is called the thermosphere it has little air in the thermosphere temperatures increase as one goes higher this is due to the direct energy of the sun or solar radiation causing the atomic particles to be charged temperatures in this layer can rise as high as 1750 degrees celsius gases become very light due to low density The upper part of the thermosphere is called the ionosphere. The ionosphere contains electrically charged particles called ions which help in transmitting communication signals. Communication satellites orbit in this layer. They help in transmitting the signals back to the earth. This layer 
extends upward from 80 km to about 500 km. The last layer of the atmosphere is the exosphere. It is the uppermost layer of the atmosphere. It starts at the top of the thermosphere and continues until it merges with space. Temperature increases with altitude in this layer because of solar radiation and can exceed 4000 degrees Celsius. While hydrogen and helium are the main gases of this layer, they exist only in very small quantities. This is because of the absence of gravity. Students, after discussing about the structure of the atmosphere, let us talk about the importance of the atmosphere. How significant atmosphere is for all of us? You know, atmosphere is a protective blanket that surrounds the earth and keeps away all hazardous and deadly radiations such as ultraviolet rays of the sun. Students, atmosphere also helps to maintain the average temperature of the earth's surface at a comfortable 15 degrees Celsius whereas in the absence of the atmosphere, the temperature of the earth would have been an uncomfortable minus 18 degrees Celsius. The atmosphere acts as a medium for the transportation of heat around the earth, especially from the warm equatorial regions to the cold mid and high latitudes. It acts as a medium to transport water vapor through the process of air circulation that determines the amount of precipitation in different parts of the world. The atmosphere acts as a storage bin for huge amount of nitrogen which are necessary especially for plants. The atmosphere is a reservoir of oxygen and carbon dioxide too. The atmosphere protects the earth from being pounded by meteors that burn up due to friction with it and do not reach the earth's surface. Students, let us recap what we have learned today. We have learned that atmosphere is a colorless and odorless layer of the gases that surrounds the earth. Nitrogen is the most abundant gas in the atmosphere followed by oxygen. Oxygen helps living beings to breathe. The atmosphere has five distinct layers that, that is troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. The troposphere is the lowest layer of the atmosphere. The stratosphere has a band of ozone gas which protects us from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. The upper part of the thermosphere is called the ionosphere. The ionosphere contains electrically charged particles called ions which help in transmitting communication signals. Exosphere is the outermost layer of the atmosphere. Students, I hope all of you have understood today's video and watch the video attentively and solve the worksheet along with it. Have a good day students. Thank you so much.